continuing with translation translation as we have discussed it is actually the interpretation of the genetic code which is present on mrna and it is decoded with the help of ribosomes and trna to produce the proteins now this process of translation involves first the mrna the trna the mrna is carrying all the genetic information then the trna is the transfer rna that transfers the information the ribosomes which are utilized for the conversion of this information into amino acids that is protein then also it is having the amino acids <clears throat> which are required and the atp apart from this the enzymes are utilized for this entire process now the ribosomes are actually the cellular factory they are where they are responsible for the protein synthesis all of you are aware of it now when we study translation there are certain steps and in the first part there has to be certain preliminary steps before starting with the actual process of translation so the first step that is for translation is the activation of the amino acids the amino acids are the building blocks of protein molecules now in this first step the amino acid reacts with atp in presence of an enzyme called as amino acyl trna synthetase and it forms an activated form which is known as amino acyl adenylic acid amp that is uh that is adenine triphosphate so we have uh, amp over here and enzyme complex plus pyrophosphate so we call it in short as aa amp enzyme complex it is formed as a result of the uh, reaction of amino acid with atp now the atp is this amino acid is in activated form next is amino acylation of trna the trna molecule also has to be activated in a way so what is meant by amino acylation of trna in this the amino acid amp enzyme complex binds with the amino acid binding site of trna so the complex that is the activated amino acid complex this combines with trna again in the presence of amino acyl trna synthetase to form a complex which is known as amino acyl trna complex plus monophosphate and enzyme is freed over here so the two steps where the amino acid is activated and the trna also gets attached to the enzyme complex that is aamp enzyme complex at the amino acid binding site now the activation of ribosome these are the preliminary steps we are talking of activation of ribosomes is brought about with the help of mrna now the ribosome consists of two subunits one larger subunit and one smaller subunit in the case of prokaryotes in the case of eukaryotes both now in its inactive state the ribosomes are present in the form of two individual subunits now for the translation to happen these two subunits must assemble now the ribosomes are activated when both the subunits are joined 
that means they are now functional and it is done with the help of mRNA. So what happens, the activation of a ribosome is brought about with the help of mRNA. Now mRNA binds to the smaller subunit of ribosome that is 30S in case of eukaryotes and later to larger subunit. Now this is facilitated or this bringing of two subunits of ribosome together is facilitated by the magnesium ions. Now as a result, the two subunits join. The smaller subunit and larger subunit. The, larger, the smaller subunit and larger subunit are joined over here with the MRA. Now, this joining is in such a way that the initiation code AUG of mRNA it lies that is the genetic code which is also it is AUG is functioning or serving two purposes it is coding as an initiator code for the protein synthesis also it codes for methionine in case of eukaryotes that is it is functioning dually this genetic code of mRNA lies close to the P site. P because this larger subunit has two sites. P site and A site. P site is peptidyl site. The site where the bond formation, peptide bond formation takes place. Because we all know that amino acids join with each other by peptide bonds to form the proteins. So this is the P site. So the P, uh, this initiation code AUG is present in such a way or that is on the mRNA so that it lies close to the P site. A is the amino acyl site. Now the entire machinery of the, uh, for translation is ready. We have the activated amino acids, the tRNA is ready and also the ribosomes are now ready to interpret the information or the decoding of the information on mRNA. Now the actual process of translation begins after the activation of these important components which are required for the protein synthesis.